I'm Nathan Smith, and I'm the Monitor High School Spotlight. Um, it was offered to people in my concert choir class. Um, Miss May told people that if they wanted to sing, that they could. The requirements were that they had to stay in the same key, and um, that was pretty much it. They couldn't change octaves either. And so, so I auditioned, and I was selected. <laughs> um, my principal and the director of the music department thought I should uh, dress like Rene Moncor, yes. <laughs> That's where this com comes from, because I, I hear that I do sing in a somewhat similar style to him. Um, not just hockey, because I do um, hockey, basketball. This year I started doing football. Last year I did ba uh, baseball, that's how you pronounce it, and um, lacrosse. So I do a lot of sports, and they've had me do it at the um, beginning of school assembly. So I think that's where I'm probably most recognized. And also there was a pep rally too, so a lot. <laughs> I do get nervous, um, not as nervous as the first time I ever sang. I was really nervous. I was drinking a lot of water, and <laughs> that's not a good thing to do when you're nervous, because, <laughs> you know. Um, but I did get very nervous, um, because I had never done it before. Um, and I still get slightly nervous, but it's, I, I feel that it's good to get slightly nervous, because it means that you care about what you're doing enough to get nervous. The shower? <laughs> um, now nah, I really love the Capitol Center. Um, I've performed there many times. Um, I do summer theater camps there, um, and our performances are at the Capitol Center. And it's a, an amazing facility. That's a tough one. Uh, um, it takes a lot of muscles. <laughs> um, the diaphragm muscle is very important for singing, and so you have to be able to hold your breath, um, literally though. Um, but you, you don't want to breathe like this. You breathe with your stomach and you expand, and that's where the diaphragm comes in, the deep breath, and having the strength to hold the breath in for long notes. When I'm not singing, <laughs> well, that's about most of my life, but, um, other than uh, just singing, I do a lot of theater, too. Um, I play the cello as well, and piano. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> I'd have to say Spanish. I don't know, but I, I, I'm finding that I'm really good at it. Um, and it comes very easily to me. And it's something that I find interesting to be able to know more than one language. I'd have to say pizza, but that's probably because I live in the same building as Checkmate Pizza, yeah. so they give us a free pizza every week. Yeah. It could be better than that. <laughs> um, I really like, right, right about now, um, I like Pompeii by Bastille, and from musical theater, I don't know, I like a lot of songs. Um, but I'd have to say my favorite musical is Les Miserables, and from that, my favorite song is One Day More. Yeah. My favorite movie, um, probably Despicable Me Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really funny. It's a kind of a cheesy funny, because of course it's a little kid's movie, but there are some things that older people would get that younger kids wouldn't get. Um, and it just has a general appeal as being a very funny movie. It's a long list. Um, Miss May, my concert choir teacher, Mr. Foley, the director of the music department, the principal, Mr. Conley, um, Mr. Mello, the athletic director, and um, my former voice teacher, Mr. Tony Bongiorno, and my current voice teacher, Ellen Nordstrom, and of course my mom and my dad <laughs> for being so supportive of me. 
Um, if you have a dream, follow it. <laughs> Just keep trying. I don't know. <laughs>